It's green. Green, cause we're in the green theme. Green, cause we're in the green theme. Well, hi there, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hi. We are still working on our 10 days of skincare. We are getting to the end. Kind of, I think. I don't know, I lost count, because I'm filming them all over the place. I know you guys have been asking, well here it is. This is an oily skin skincare routine video today, routine, thang, that's what we're going to be doing. I am so used to having oily skin and I have the shiniest freaking forehead when um, I have no makeup on and sometimes it's very annoying. So. I have really just come to figure out the best, absolute best products for oily skin. So I have a couple of them sitting in front of me. I've put them all into a routine and that's what we're gonna do today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Mwah. We gotta take this makeup off. I think my order of how I do the products is what's most important when it comes to taking your makeup off for oily skin. Um, and with like, when it comes to oily skin, pores, honestly, any type of skin in general, I really cleanse my face using four different steps to make sure that the makeup and dirt and oil and everything is off of my face. So I'm gonna start by breaking down the makeup that's sitting on my face just so it's easier to get off and wipe off. I'm using the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Cleanser. I usually use this in the shower and it's just a ton easier that way, but you know, sometimes you just want to go the heck to bed. The next product I'm going to use is a cleanser. This is the Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser from Glam Glow. I literally can't see. I'm gonna use this to clean off any excess makeup, dirt, oil, everything off of my face. So once my face is all clean, I am going to mask and exfoliate. I have a really cool wash and scrub mask with purifying tea tree oil from the body shop. So this mask is really cool because you can use it as just an exfoliator every day. And then once or twice a week, you can leave it on for about five to 10 minutes. After you've kind of like exfoliated it into your face, you can leave it on as a mask. All right, so I'm gonna leave this on for about five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna take it all off. So the next step is toner or witch hazel or astringent, whatever you wanna call it. I like to use the strong stuff and I always have. Way back when, let me tell you a quick story before we use this because it's really important for people with oily skin to know this. Drying out your skin does not make your skin less oily. It actually makes your skin more oily. So you have to make sure that you moisturize. I used to use astringent or witch hazel by itself and that was all I would use. I wouldn't use any moisturizer at all. I wouldn't use any oils at all. But it's actually really important to make sure that you do because when your skin is dry, when you're drying out your skin, you're making your skin actually produce more oil because your skin is thinking that you're not feeding it any moisture because you're not. <laughs> so if you actually give your skin a little bit more moisture, then it should be less oily. Trust me, I learned that the hard way. We're gonna use this mattifying toner all over my face to not only clean off any excess makeup that our cleansers and mask may have missed, but also mattify so that we are not oily. I like to start with a clean base and just get rid of all the oil that I can. Okay, so next up is serum. This is the Vichy Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. I love this, you guys. I used this way back when, when it first came out. 
and I think when it first came out or when they first like when they repackaged it and made it look all pretty like this this right here is 89% water but it is so so hydrating it's great for any skin type but I love using this in an oily skincare routine because it's not heavy it doesn't feel oily and it really sets and settles like into the skin so for under our eyes I'm gonna be using this Murad eye cream it is the retinol youth renewal eye serum I don't personally get oily eyelids and I know that that's a thing that a lot of people get very concerned about I think my recommendation is to use a mattifying lotion and we will get to that a little bit later on in the video. So hang tight for just a second. Now we're on to a moisturizer. Like I said, it is so important, so imperative that we moisturize. I'm using the Confidence in a Gel Lotion Hydro Plumping Skin Transforming Weightless Moisturizer. It's oil free. It is for all skin types, but again, another product that I really like for an oily skin routine because it is very lightweight. It doesn't feel oily on the skin. It absorbs into the skin, but it's still hydrating our skin in the way that we want it to. And of course, we have to add some lip balm. This is the Tarte Quench Lip Balm in the color Clear. It is the Quench Lip Rescue Lip Balm. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes some lip balms can be super, super oily and a little too much. So I chose this one because it is really easy to apply. It's kind of like how you would apply a lipstick and you don't have to use your fingers or anything like that. And it is quenching my lips. It's moisturizing my lips, but it's not giving me like that oily feel on my lips. It's feeling more like... I don't know, like, like a lip balm, like a lip balm should. <laughs> so our last step in this oily skin routine is this guy. This is actually a sunscreen from Dermalogica. It is called the Oil Free Matte. It has SPF 30 in it, and it is going to mattify our face while protecting it from the sun, which is all great and wonderful, but if it can mattify my face at the same time, even better. So we're gonna use a little bit of this all over our face, and if need be, a little bit more in the areas where we get super shiny. All right, guys, and that is it for this skincare routine for oily skin. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope my tips were helpful. I know that having oily skin sometimes can, having any problems with your skin can sometimes just feel really, really horrible honestly but I know that me when I struggled with oily skin and I still do occasionally here and there my forehead is shiny as all hell I have a shine unibrow love that love that for me whenever I want to try to do a no makeup day and then all of a sudden schmack there's a shine on my face I'm like well this is why I wear makeup. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed my tips and I hope that they were helpful. If you guys have any tips for oily skin, please leave them down below. Let's share the love. Let's provide tips for all oily skin people out there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel right here in the center of the screen. Click that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And of course, all my other videos are right here on the side. Love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in to another video part of my 10 days of skin for March and I will see you guys soon. Bye!